Edmonton to where are we going? Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I am so, so, so excited to be doing this vlog. Fingers crossed, all being well, this is going to be the first of my holiday vlogs. Oh my god, so excited. I randomly, very last minute, very complex and very mentally breaking booked a holiday. So we are off to Greece. It's currently now 8.30 the day before, the night before, um, and I still basically need to pack and sort and clear up this room. So I'm going to take you along with me. I'm just going to be vlogging and documenting the whole thing. I'm so excited to be doing this one. So stay tuned. If this is the kind of video you want to see, then please keep watching. Because this is a last minute trip I literally had to just place a quick last minute order from Boohoo and I've got another ASOS order downstairs as well so I've just ordered a few dresses and bits and pieces but also a swimwear so I might do a little swimwear oh I've got a little bum bag as well I totally forgot about that um, so I might like do a little swimwear try on haul to insert in this video I don't even remember what I got, but I just needed a few bits and pieces. I only got one, two, you. I know that's a cover up. Three, four swimsuits. So I really hope these, at least one of these, is going to fit. I'm going to try them all on now and then I'll film it and insert it into this video. And I just got like a little embroidery um, anglaise two piece as well. So it's a skirt and a top no one really likes that but i quite like it so that's coming with me and i've just got this dress as well um which is quite nice for like an evening dinner or something and i've got um something from a asos downstairs which i actually saw emily philpot had on her channel so i thought oh i like that so i'm gonna go and get that in a minute so i've got a few bits and pieces there which needs to go away uh, which needs to go in my case i'm taking this beauty this is from a blogger i can't remember what she's called now ah the travel hack it's from a travel vlogger um the travel hack on instagram so check her out she's got some really cool bits um but it's my favorite case so i will check in in a second when i've thrown some stuff in my case and um yeah I'll insert the clips of my swimwear now. So I hope you can see me. So this is going to be option, one of my options. It is a two piece. Um, but it kind of looks like it's all in one, but it is a two piece. Um, I got this in the 16 and I really like it. really like the length. See my knickers underneath, but I really like the style kind of comes in a little bit but yeah I think this is nice I think I will take this as one option next option is this really cute really summery floral pink um, cutout swimsuit um, and it kind of just does up a bit at the back so I'm just just gonna put this one on and see what it looks like okay not the biggest fan of this one I got this in the 16 as well and it's not, it doesn't quite fit very nice. Um, I feel a bit like restricted. I feel a bit exposed. And I just do not like what the back looks like either. I'm not even going to show you because I just do not like it. Yeah, this one is definitely going to go back, I think. Otherwise, it's very cute and very pretty. Maybe I should have gone, maybe I should have sized up a bit. But yeah, it's not, it's not floating my boat so this one is super bright but i absolutely love it i love the style here so it's a one shoulder swimsuit so it's a full swimsuit this one but i think it's just very flattering i got this one in an 18 i do kind of wish i'd size down in this one because it is slightly baggy but that's okay I'm, i really love it and i love the color it's um very it lo looks great on dark skin i've got to say 
Um, yeah, so this one is also coming with me. I love it. I think this is really nice as a beach cover up. I don't really know how I can see it. Okay, so those are pretty much the things that I have bought. Um, well, just swimwear really to just take away with me. I'm taking two of the three that I bought, so that is good. Um, so I've just kind of, let me see if I can turn you. I've literally just chucked everything on top of the case there. So now I need to chuck a few more things on and separate them into piles, I think. Daytime, evening, and then yeah, just see what else I need. Sort out my technology, sort out my, everything still needs sorting out basically. Um, yeah, so I better get cracking. I'm leaving the house in exactly 12 hours, so I need to get cracking with this. Okay, so it's now nine o'clock. Um, I haven't eaten yet at all. I keep getting really sidetracked. Still haven't sorted out my clothes. Look, they're just all thrown on top of my suitcase. You can't even tell there's a suitcase there anymore. So I think I'm just going to sort these things out. I'm probably massively overpacked. But that's, you know, what happens. I'm going to sort this out first, I think, and then go and eat something and then come back and then finish doing this. So I'll pop you on a time lapse and, yeah, just show you a bit of how I pack my case for a few nights away. And um, I'll come back to you when I have got something else to say. As you would have seen I have just tried to organize my clothes into piles so I've got potential traveling outfit here yeah that's a traveling outfit I've got one play suit here I've got my swimming stuff here shorts tops cohort evening dresses like a daytime beach type dress Another kind of mesh top, not sure what that will go with. I've got denim shorts here, beach wear, let's put that together. I've got another dress outside on the line, um, it's drying, so I'm going to go down now and have something to eat and then um, see if my clothes are dry really and then hopefully I'll be able to just go ahead and pack this stuff up. I think I've probably overpacked, but at the same time, there doesn't seem to be that much here. Um, we are there for four full days as well. I think I've got a decent amount here actually. Okay, so I'm gonna go and eat something, then I'm gonna come back and sort out my toiletries and my technology. That's the important thing. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm basically now packed. I think I've lost my touch with packing. It's been way too long. Hello everyone. Whoa. So it's 1.30 in the morning now. I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, but I think I finally just about finished packing. Um, excuse the hair, I've just plucked my hair in two just to kind of set it for the morning. Guys, I've lost my comb. Yeah. Trying to plait this hair without a comb is a real challenge. But anyway, I have massively overpacked and I don't understand why I'm such an overpacker these days because I've gone traveling and done minimalist before. I know I can do it, but for some reason right now it's not working for me. Um, so yeah, I need to just get into bed. I've got to be up in about six hours. So I'm gonna check in with you when I am on the move. Yeah. Hello guys, so today is travel day. I'm literally about to leave the house. Actually, I'm gonna have a coffee first. 8.30 in the morning, so 
not leaving quite as early as I wanted to, which was about eight o'clock, but I was allowing for traffic and I've checked, there is no traffic, so it should be good. Um, so yeah, I think I'm all packed. This is my outfit. I've got a prime up denim jacket. It's actually quite warm out, so I'm literally only taking this because I'm coming back quite late. Um, so just in case. Got my Primark glasses, Primark top, and a Primark jogging bottoms. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna have a quick coffee, maybe a slice of toast, and then I'm gonna do the drive. Wow, so I'm in London, yeah! I'm just picking up my friend. That was a really nice drive. It took me about an hour and 20 minutes, which is really good. Normally it should take about an hour and a half, so yeah i may have like beat the clock um but yeah i'm just picking her up um and then i think we're gonna try and aim to leave for the airport in about half an hour oh i'm really excited this is her now excuse me my phone is going i'm gonna check in again when my friend and i are in the car and mm, we're on our way hi hi so we're here and we're just gonna go to the airport. That's How long it. is it gonna take us? The about beginning. Half an hour, I about think. Half an hour, yeah. The beginning of what should be a really good trip. Epic adventure. Yeah. Edmonton to where are we going? Kefalonia. Kefalonia. I keep thinking Zanti, <laughs> Santorini, like every It's island, all in the same place. That that's, we're not going. that's where we're going. North so North. let's go. Rock and roll. We are at the airport. We've just parked the car. Can you see the planes in the background? For once in our entire life, we are actually on time. On time. Early. <laughs> yeah, we're actually early. Like, our flight's not for another three hours and ten minutes. I don't know, we'll be sweating somewhere. <laughs> yeah. But the joke is, we're going to get really comfortable here and still miss the flight. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> I was thinking so that earlier. I was thinking we're probably going to be in the airport and missing our flight. <laughs> Let's not chatting away, drink ourselves. <laughs> sorting out our <laughs> That's the thing, innit? We get comfortable. <laughs> Yeah, we've just been sat in the car for like 20 minutes yeah. now. <laughs> just yeah, hanging yeah. out. Now we're trying so to put uh, airport transfers for the other end because, yeah, we... Failed to. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we didn't think about doing that. So. Well, we thought about it. We just left, thought about it a bit too late, didn't we? Well, I just thought in my head, I make, I make stuff up. So <laughs> I was like, it's 20 minutes away. We'll just get on a local donkey. It'll be fine. Yeah, she thinks it's 20 min our hotel's 20 minutes from the airport. It's but it's actually like for like minutes. an hour or something. So yeah. yeah, I do like to make stuff up. <laughs> but apparently on Tui, you can't actually book transfers within 48 hours, and um, it's now what about eight hours until we get there. So let's see, let's see if they can help us. Just go to manage my booking on Tui.co.uk. No. Oh, download the app from and we're definitely suffocating in, in our mm. masks. Masked but, um, up. We have to do it if we want to get to our destination safely. In the era of COVID. Oh God. Baby. So there's actually a lot of people at this airport, isn't there? Yeah, it's quite a lot. Come Considering on, people are traveling, like, right? There's COVID. No like, children. Yeah. People just it's people like COVID don't exist anymore. Yeah. Let me get this shot off until they stand to the airport. Yeah. Yeah, people are fully travelling, right? So I was eyeing up her favourite perfume. I'm getting this one. What are you getting? 6240. Oh. Yeah, for the gift what are you set. getting? Paul Rose. Paul Smith Rose. Rose. Nice. We're doing some serious shopping right now. That's the gift set that I got. So that's oh, the 10 mil that I've got. That's the one bag. you've got. Yeah. Oh, okay. So cute. and eat something and find cyber. <laughs> Bacon and cheese panini with chips. I've got cheesy chips. I'm loaded nachos. I've got loaded nachos. I've got wine. 
the side we've got San Pellegrino. San Pellegrino, yeah. San Pellegrino. Blood orange. Mm. Bon appetit, mm. babe. Yeah. Thank you. Naomi's, Naomi's on one. And also they're touching our phone screen. Yeah, like why are you touching my phone? What is yeah. it Naomi was saying? It's my health mm. and I don't care. There you go. She was literally doing the side to the <laughs> Wow. But really, like you say, it's just saying how it's my hair to have a little Yeah. staying at the Hotel Tara Beach. This is our little room. So we've got a toilet and bathroom, which will be soon to be disinfected. Got a little fridge. Here's our bed. And we've got a little balcony, I believe, which Syrah is trying to um, do. <laughs> and look at this old school TV. Proper old school. I mean, it will do. It's tiny, but it will do. Look at this cute light. And there's nice um, gardens out here. Can't really see it too well. But also, we're right by the beach. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So happy. 
happy to be here, aren't we? Overjoyed. It's so yeah. beautiful. We are in a restaurant. We've checked into our hotel. And where are we? Manolis Taverna. We've ordered a whole bunch of food. Mm -hmm. We're starving. Can't wait. We can't wait to eat. And the setting's really pretty. Look, very we've got gorgeous. gorgeous flowers here. What are they? That's uh, pomegranate, pomegranate tree. tree. Got sunflowers all around us on that side. Sunflowers. Really tall ones. And apparently it's been 35 degrees here today. Yeah, 35 degrees at 11 a.m. Yeah. But it's just we've really got scenic. Flowers everywhere. People are eating. Look at this little kitty. And there's a full moon there's on the ocean. There. And we're right on the full moon. Very, very the full moon up there. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Really nice area, and apparently the season just started. What, like, pretty much today? Yeah, we're really, really happy to be here. Knackered, but happy, aren't we? Very. The first course has arrived. The Greek salad. Um. Fried cheese. Fried cheese. What was it called? Sanganaki. 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 And vine leaves. Doma. Oh yeah. Happy girly. Very. <laughs> Main course has arrived. We both got the same thing. We got um, it's like a mixed kind of chicken, vlaki mm. with chips, pita, satsiki and salad. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> Being attacked by kittens. <laughs> this cat is trying to get Cyrus food. Cyrus hates cats. And it's just. Oh, look at it. It's I'm cute. Like, 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 I'm not ugly. No, it's just sitting there now. Don't want your yeah, food. Before anymore. they're about to call. <laughs> <laughs> How cute. The hotel. The hotel? The restaurant's just coming for us. Plate of melon on the house. It's too bad we're really full to eat it. <laughs> now I'm gonna feel really bad. Look, I've just gone back to